but um, that's all we'll do today. We got a little early. Send you on your way off into spring break and a, a little bit early. No complaints. <laughs> so, uh, probably just leave it open through the break so you can just kind of get to it uh, whenever you want. Um, in terms of documents, you will have read uh, some testimony before Congress. Congress held some hearings on uh, labor unrest. There were so many strikes during the latter part of the Gilded Age. I don't know if I mentioned in lecture, but you know, literally thousands of labor strikes. And Congress holds hearings to kind of at least give the appearance that they care and that they're wanting to look into the matter. And so they get testimony from like big wig tycoons, but also just average working people. And that's what you're gonna have, a guy named Thomas O'Donnell, who works in a textile mill. Uh, so with his testimony, just kind of pay attention to um, what it is he does. I've already told you he works in textile mill, but more specifically, and where, and then what's his particular problem? <laughs> um, we talked a lot about the problems laborers had had during that period, but his problem is sort of very specific and it's causing him to not be able to work regularly. So just pay attention to that. Um, and then we talked about Jacob Rees. And so you'll recognize him as the photographer who took the photographs he published as how the other half lives, remember? He's describing something different and this is it's not photographs, it's just a, a more or less an essay that he's written, a piece. Um, this talking about something more specific. So uh, if you get the general gist of what he is describing or able to sort of give that back to me, that'll be enough there. Because as a muckraker, he's concerned with more than just photographing the tenements. So somebody who doesn't do the documentary reading and that has been here for lecture is gonna be like, Jacob Reese was describing the tenements and the dilapidated buildings and no, not at all. Eugene Debs, I told you um, in the last lecture you would hear from Debs. We've talked about him several times now. Democratic Socialist candidate for president, uh, leader of the Wobblies, uh, organized the Pullman strike, and also here speaking out against American involvement in the Great War. What you need to know, what is Debs' argument? Which I alluded to, again, in lecture already, so it, it won't be new to you, I don't think. You know, uh, for what reasons does Debs oppose American involvement in the Great War? And then you'll generally hear from, uh, you'll hear the general experiences of, I should say, uh, one of the so-called doughboys, American soldier who fights in the Great War. And so if I gave you a list of soldiers' experiences, you'd be able to go, oh yeah, I remember he did that. Oh, that happened to him again. Wait, no, I don't remember that at all. So you'd be able to pick out from among a list of experiences, the things that he was involved in and not. And then finally, you'll have a piece in the North American Review that's basically the opposite of Debs. Like, this is why we should get involved in the Great War. So in the case of that one and the Debs one, just know what are the arguments? What are they saying? Why is it we should get involved in the war? Uh, how do they frame American involvement? Okay, why does Debs say the opposite of that? And that'll get you through the document questions. And then our three lectures, of course, would be uh, Gilded Age, Imperialism, Progressivism, and Great War, right? So in the Gilded Age, we began by talking about, of course, what is it in a general sense, and who are the muckrakers um, specifically? From the imperialism lecture, pay attention to the Banana Republics we talked about, United Fruit Company, remember, Chiquita. And let's see, oh, I'm gonna have to adjust this quiz, looks like this one actually covers into the uh, 1920s lecture and we're not gonna go that far. So I would expect definitely one more question from that Gilda Days lecture, not sure what it'll be. So you'll actually have to study in the old fashioned way, as opposed to me simply telling you what's <laughs> gonna be on the quiz. But I mean, you remember generally what we talked about beyond just muckrakers, we talked about Jane Addams. We talked about the, those four constitutional amendments, that's fair game for sure. 
talk about some of the things Congress did beyond just the amendments, like the Pure Food and Drug Act and the Meat Inspection Act, right? Um, and then we talked about the organization of labor, remember? Especially the AFL. What was it about the AFL that made it so limited, remember? Skilled labor union only, you know? Um, not open to immigrants, women, minorities, and so on. And then I would expect one more definitely from the uh, progressivism imperialism lecture um, as well. So muckraker, sure, uh, banana republic, sure, but probably one more. And then great war, um, underlying causes of the war that we kind of listed one by one by one, definitely that's fair game. Um, the characteristics of the fighting, stalemate and trench warfare, right? And reasons for American involvement would be another thing to pay attention to. And then Wilson's patriotic campaign, um, the government's efforts both to regulate the economy for total war and to simultaneously drum up support for the war, demonize the enemy, characterize the war as a fight for freedom, and so on. That is something that will probably show up there. Questions? You all know what to expect by now, so everybody's confident and ready to knock it out and dominate. Nobody even took notes, I don't think. Maybe you guys do it there. Or maybe you other people. You just got it right here. Nothing. Everybody's ready for to get the hell out of here and not come back for 10 days, which is understandable. All right, well, I'm gonna go play golf then. Why not? It's a beautiful day, right? It's supposed to be crappy weather next week, naturally. I say that, I mean, half the time they don't get it right until the like last minute anyway. So. I'm sitting here recording myself talking about the weather.